Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and this is another example on how to find the volume of a trapezoidal prism. So this is how to find the volume of a trapezoidal prism, part two. Okay, so I had to make another uh, part to this because uh, some problems, trapezoidal prism problems, uh, may be a little more challenging, you may have extra steps, so I'm going to help you guys out. So. Uh, remember, there's two formulas. If you watch part one, uh, two formulas are volume of a prism is base area times the distance between the two bases. And the formula for the area of a trapezoid is base one plus base two times the distance between the two bases in a trapezoid divided by two. So... Uh, first thing, let's find the, the area of the bases or the base area. And we know that the bases are trapezoids because number one, it's in the name. And number two, if we look at this diagram, uh, the two bases are always congruent. So the front face and the back face are congruent and they're also parallel. They're going in the same direction. So I'm going to highlight... This front face, which is the base, which is a trapezoid, so we can focus on that. And we're going to find the area of this trapezoid right here. Uh, so let's see if we have all the information we need. We have base 1, which is 3. Uh, that's 7, so this has to be 7. So we have base 2, but it looks like uh, someone... Uh, there's something there, but it looks like someone intentionally took off the height, or maybe the height just wasn't there. So, but it's okay. We can figure that out. Uh, so we just have to split this trapezoid up. So there's that line right there for the height. Let's draw another height right here. Okay, so that we have a quadrilateral right there. Um, and from here to here is three. So the length from here to here is three okay and we know that this entire segment is seven and because it's an isosceles trapezoid uh, this segment right here has to be converted to this segment so the question at hand is what plus three plus that same number adds up to seven i'll let you figure it out did you figure it out figure it out hmm. okay so uh that number is two so 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So that's important because it'll help us find the height. Uh, we know that this side right here is 4, and there's a tick mark right here. So that means this is 4. And look at that. We have a right triangle. You have two options now. So uh, you could use... Uh, so what can you always use when you have two sides of a right triangle you can always use the pythagorean theorem to find that missing side right here but i want to sh save you guys some time um because this one what we've noticed is that this side right here is half of the hypotenuse right there if you could think of a special right triangle where one of the sides is half of the hypotenuse uh, that'll help us out that special right triangle is a 30 60 90 triangle that means this short side is half of the hypotenuse and because it's a 30 60 90 triangle this has to be the middle side and the pattern for 30 60 90 triangles is that the middle side is just the short side times radical three so there you go. Uh, now we have the height. We quickly did that. But if you don't believe me, uh, or if you aren't strong with your 30, 60, 90 triangles and you need a review, review it another day and just use the Pythagorean theorem. Just write four squared is equal to two squared uh, plus B squared or H squared and use the Pythagorean theorem. But so now uh, we have everything that we need in order to find the area of this trapezoid. So let's just start plugging numbers in. Base one is three plus base two, which is seven. You could have written seven plus three, but okay, whatever. And then times the heights or the distance between those two bases, we use the 
the 30, 60, 90 triangle up to find the height, which is 2 radical 3 and divided by 2. Um, and so before we, this looks a little complicated, but so let's simplify things a little. What can we cancel out? Well, we know that this this whole quantity right here is being multiplied by 2, which is multiplied by radical 3. And when there's multiplication involved, we can we could cancel things out if there's numbers in the denominator that are just like it. So there's a 2 and there's a 2. So those cancel each other out. Uh, so all we have to do is just simplify these three numbers. Let's do parentheses. 3 plus 7 is 10 times radical 3. So there is the area of the trapezoid or the base. Okay, so now we could use this formula, the volume formula. So V equals base area, which is 10 radical 3 times the distance between these two bases, which is the trapezoid. There's no number here. There's no number here. But look at that. So there's a number there. So which is 6. So... Let's just multiply all this out. Uh, the 6 can multiply with a 10. Uh, so 10 times 6 is 60 radical 3 centimeters. And remember, volume is how many cubes can fit inside. So centimeters cubed. So there's your final answer. Um, so hopefully this helps. Hopefully this simplifies things. Um, so just a quick review, um, we needed these two formulas and we used this three to split this segment up into three parts. We knew this entire thing was seven. So these two segments had to be two. We had a right triangle right here. And because the hypotenuse is twice as long as this side right here, we use a 30, 60, 90 triangle uh, to help us find this middle side right here. Uh, but if you forgot, or or in another problem, if this hypotenuse isn't twice as long, use a Pythagorean theorem to help you find the height right there. And then uh, we just went and plugged all those numbers in to find the area of the trapezoid, which ended up being 10 radical 3. And then we use that and plug this number in into the volume formula, which is base area times the distance between the two bases, which is 6. Just multiply it out and we have 60 radical 3. Hope this helps and uh, yeah, good job. Have a nice day.